Welcome back to Snack Rack, everybody. We got another three snacks we never had before. Today we're doing snack bread. It's kind of a weird thing we found. Yeah. We saw it and we were like, there's three of them, yeah. three things as our show, let's buy them. In our Taco Bell cheese crisp nasty stuff video. Yeah. That we, was the same thing. We said that we'd never really find three of the exact same snack. Yeah. Usually it's more than three or usually mm -hmm. it's less than three and we gotta find yeah. something else. Yeah. But here, once again, it was just exactly three flavors. Didn't work out last time, but Hopefully this time. Yeah. Attempt number two, baby. Let's get into it. But first up, we've got apple cinnamon flavored. Yep, then we've got the cranberry orange. Then lastly, we have blueberry. Yes. And I would like to mention at the beginning, I called them snack bread things. Their official title is snacking rounds. Snacking rounds, yes. Which is a really weird title. Yeah. I would not name a snack that. I think the apple is gonna be the best. I would agree with you, yeah. Yeah, cranberry orange, might be okay. Not the biggest fan of blueberries. Okay, so that's probably where we're gonna differ with this one. I like blueberries. I usually get blueberry bagels if I get mm -hmm. bagels. So I feel like if I like this one, I should probably also like this one. But right. now now that I realize you don't like uh, blueberries all that much, could be different for us. Could be. I would just like to say on the back here, it's got Alan Ozery, which I guess is the guy that made this, which his name's right on the bag. It says Great Toasted, which uh, we're not gonna do. Nope. And also, I don't think you'd really get that in a toaster. And yeah. on the picture, it shows a toaster oven. So that means- Maybe if you put it in a microwave, well, but- Well, it, it has a toaster oven here. So that means oh. you have to have a toaster oven to be able to toast these things. Not everybody has a toaster oven. I don't oh. have a toaster oven. So many stuff on here. Like, it's yeah. got like this lot of information on the back of this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with you. I think this one's probably gonna be best. Yeah. I think I'll like this one, as long as they're good. If they're bad, yeah. then I won't like any of them. But if this mm -hmm. one's good, I feel like I'll probably also like this one. Yeah. This one I feel like is just gonna be kind of weird. Yeah. Cranberry and orange already is kind of a weird mix. It is. I'll be honest, I think these are all gonna be weird, but I feel like this has the chance of being the least weird. I agree with you. I like how on the back they got the QR, QR code. It's on a cutting board. Yeah, I noticed that when I was checking out. I was like, Awesome oh, attention neat. to detail. Yeah. It's something that you usually don't see, and yeah. I will give them a little point for that. Yeah, I'll be honest, you know, even if this is disgusting, I like the company. Yeah, I like the company yeah. as well. All right. Unless they're disgusting. Then I'll say I don't like them. First up, we got apple cinnamon snacking rounds. Also, shout out to the fact that these are all sealable because that is the way that they should all be. And also I like how that's cut right at the very top. Yeah, the perforation on that was really nice. Yeah. A lot of times you have kind of trouble opening up a sealed bag like that. Mm -hmm. That one, really nice perforation. Props to them for making it easy for their customers. I was given a little shit on the package earlier, just the text on it, but the yeah. package is very nice, to be yeah. honest. It's an interesting smell. It smells doughy and cinnamony. It's kind of like a bagel. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe that's what these are. They're bagels, but without the hole. It is a rather strange thing. I think we should just get into it because I want to know what this is like. Yeah, same. Hmm. Well, that's something. Very interesting. I will give them credit for actually having little slices of apple and uh, yeah. little pouches of cinnamon rather than just having the flavoring mm -hmm. mixed into it. It's a pretty chewy bread. I bet that'd be different if you toasted it. Yeah. It'd probably be a little more crunchy. You ever had a bagel that hasn't been toasted? Probably. This feels like that, but a lot easier to eat. Which is not a complaint. It's just like a slice of bread. It's got some nice flavor into it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good bread. Yeah. I enjoy it. So do I. I could definitely see in like if you had something to like dip this in or like put Ooh, onto it. Yeah. I'm not sure if I buy this again, but I almost see this as like a snackable bagel. They are called snacking rounds and mm -hmm. this is a good little snack. Healthy snack too. Yeah. It's much healthier than Doritos mm -hmm. or something like that. And it is very tasty. It's, and I like that it's a lighter alternative to a bagel. Cause sometimes you're like, I don't want to eat a whole bagel right now. Mm -hmm. Just pop one of these in. I would be interested to try these toasted now, or maybe like with some like cream cheese or like. Ooh, yeah. Or some little bit of, just a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Yeah. You know, something like that. I can imagine this being really good. Kurt, I gotta tell you, my favorite bagels are when you have everything bagels with a slice of pastrami in the middle, a couple slices of pastrami. That hits the spot. I don't think I've ever had an everything bagel. I'm not a huge fan of pastrami, honestly. Really? I mean, this is, we're getting a little on a tangent here, but for me, pastrami, it's okay. But whenever I put it on a sandwich, I can have like a massive sandwich full of turkey and ham and uh, mm -hmm. salami and all kinds of stuff. Put on one little tiny piece of pastrami. 
it's a pastrami sandwich. That's yeah. all I can taste out mm-hmm. of that. And to me, I'd much rather taste the other sand- all the other meats. So for me, I'm not a big fan of pastrami. Never had it on a bagel. So yeah. no, I really like it on a bagel specifically. Hmm. I don't know if I said this. I'm not sure if I'd buy this again, but it is pretty good. I'd recommend trying it. I hate this company. Why? I looked at the back of this for one second, and I noticed something that's in there that I didn't quite taste, but I'm really upset. I hate when companies hide things, this specific thing into their foods. Not companies, people. When they hide this specific thing in there, and you don't realize until after you're eating it, usually in cookies, you eat it, and then you're like, wait a minute, these fuckers put raisins in here. Oh, I like raisins. I hate raisins, and people like fucking raisins. sneak it into everything. I don't, don't like give me a goddamn in. chocolate chip cookie with raisins in it. Raisin cookies are awful, but I don't mind raisins. I didn't notice them in this though, so I'll yeah. give them a pass, but I just fucking hate when they fucking sneak raisins into this stupid fucking shit. <laughs> I am pissed off at this company right now for putting raisins in my fucking little snacking round. You didn't even notice it until you looked at the back. I know. It makes me upset. I'm angry. All right. Oh, bring bring that one over here for a second. I want to compare something. On this one, I said it's got Alan Osery, which I assumed was like the owner of the company or something. No, so here's his little face here, right? Got his, got his little glasses and hair. Then in this one, it's got Guy Osery. And so there he is with his little bald face and no hair. Bald face and no glasses. That's what I meant. But yeah, it's uh, I saw it here, Family Bakery. So that's interesting that each package has a different, like, member of the family that's their faces cool. on it. That is pretty cool, honestly. I'll give them that. So next up, we've got the cranberry orange mm-hmm. with no raisins, but an interesting mixture of cranberries and oranges in this snacking round. I'll be honest, I am not the biggest fan of cranberries. Uh, me neither. You can smell the citrus on that. Wow, yeah, that's... This might be bad. That's a very strong citrus. This might be bad. I've never looked at a piece of bread and thought, I should put an orange on that. Yeah, neither have I. All right, let's just try it. Yeah. That's a no. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's a no, that's what it is. This is so It's bizarre. orange flavored bread. There's no actual orange in it. It's orange flavored bread with cranberries in it. Ugh. I haven't tasted any cranberries yet. It's just very citrus. It's like if you've ever juiced an orange, the essence of that in bread. I'm not buying that again. That's awful. I don't like it at all. No. I'm eating it purely out of curiosity. Get that out of here. I'm just gonna blame Guy here. Guy, you might not have been the one that came up with this idea, but your face is on the bag. Yeah, so screw you, Guy. Guy, what the fuck were you thinking? When you put oranges in bread, why would you put why? oranges in bread? Why? What? Whose pot were you smoking? And then you put cranberries in here. There's not. A, you can't even taste the cranberries. Yeah, you can't even taste the cranberries. It's just citrusy bread. Might have just. Might as well just called it orange bread. Yeah, it was awful. Anyways, Kurt, would you buy this again? No, but it's weird. How did they do this? I want to see the process of how they make orange bread. Did they put orange <laughs> juice in the bread while they were like mixing the dough? That is a good point. I would like to know. Hey guy, I know I just told you to fuck yourself or whatever. But unfuck but yourself for just a second. If you can get us like a tour or like just send us like a video of like your baking process of how you put orange that. in the bread. Yeah. I'd come back and I'd be like, hey, this stuff is bad, but the apple ones are pretty good. Even yeah. the fa- even though they put raisins in it. Yeah. Kurt doesn't like this company, I can tell. No, I don't mind the company. I'm just like flabbergasted by this fucking bread. <laughs> I'm cussing a lot, but I'm just like in <laughs> bewilderment right now. Don't try this unless you want to be flabbergasted by such a bizarre taste. So far about Osiri, I like the <laughs> apple cinnamon raisin thing. Kurt didn't like it as soon as he found out there were raisins in okay, it. Okay, look, I still <laughs> like it. I'm just mad. Well, one, I'm mad that they put raisins in there. Raisins aren't good. I don't care what you say, Chris. Raisins aren't good. Raisins are okay. If you want to sell a box of raisins, go ahead and do it until you make yourself pink. I don't care. But if you're gonna put raisins in something? What the hell is wrong with you? Putting raisins in anything will just ruin it. I don't care what it is. Don't put raisins in it. Okay, brimming with your all-time favorite, you're bound to get more, okay. 
Wait a minute. It says you're bound to get more than a few blueberries in every snackable bite. What else is in here? Why is it a mystery? Does it just mean there's a lot of blueberries? They could mean that you're gonna get more than just a few of them, but the way that it says it, it makes me think that there's something Let else in it. there, but they're just not saying what it is. It must mean that they're just like, oh, you're gonna get more than a few of the blueberries, but the way that they say it, they're like, you're gonna get more than just a few blueberries in there. I think that just means that it has good consistency. I think, yeah, I think it means that you're gonna get more than a few blueberries in every bite, but the way that it says it, it's like you're gonna get more than just blueberries, which is kind of oddly mysterious, and I don't want that out of my food. It does smell good. I like the smell of blueberries. I'm not a huge fan of blueberries, I do like the smell of them. I kind of like the smell as well. I will say this doesn't smell as good as the apple cinnamon one because no, apple cinnamon just has such a good smell. Oh yeah, let's just get into it. Yeah, not bad, not me though. It feels like a compact blueberry bagel. On the bag, it says you are bound to get more than a few blueberries in every bite. Mm-hmm. One. It's only blueberries, so they didn't mean it the way that I was saying, which I figured. Two, there's not a lot of blueberry in here. I think I ate like maybe a blueberry in both those bites. It's a lot of bread, not a lot of blueberry. Hmm. And I don't understand it because they're touting how much blueberry there is in this thing. Not a lot of blueberry. Well, I ate this one exactly in half. And you can see, you can see in there blueberries. Well, like bits of blueberry, very small, tiny bits of blueberry. There's some blueberries, but- There's not a lot. I feel like in this uh, this amount of space of a blueberry bagel, mm -hmm. you get a lot more blueberries than in this. And this thing is supposed to have a bunch yeah. of blueberries in it. I eat blueberry bagels quite often. Mm -hmm. There's way more blueberries in a blueberry bagel, like in a bite of a blueberry bagel than in a bite of this. I'm really disappointed in this. And for that reason, I would not buy this again because I just get a blueberry bagel. I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're great. They're personally not for me, but yeah, just get a blueberry bagel. You get more bang for the buck. I don't think they're bad, but especially in comparison to their own company, this is like the apple cinnamon one mm -hmm. without the apple cinnamon. Yeah. And so it's like, what am I getting to replace that? And they're like, oh, blueberries. Like, oh, so I'm gonna get like a blueberry flavor. No. Well. Oh, and this is Alan again. So oh, Alan, hi Alan. Alan did this one too. So now we know, Alan is making, you know, regular good choice breads. Mm -hmm. Not 100%, you know, he yeah. kind of screwed up a little bit on this one. But yeah. Guy, he's out there just like making stuff. Like who yeah. knows what the fuck Guy's making. He's gonna come out of the kitchen and they're gonna be like, oh no, here we go again. Just like the last episode that we happened to film, this was a perfect ramp down. No, I wouldn't say so. I'd say that this was really Oh yeah, you're right. It went down and up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought we were more disappointed with the blueberry. Sorry, I'm just stupid. Um, <laughs> I was really disappointed in the blueberry. I actually didn't finish the blueberry. I finished the weird one, but the blueberry- I threw the weird one out. <laughs> yeah. For me, this one was pretty good. I would really appreciate it if they got rid of the raisins. I didn't mm -hmm. really notice them, but I'd rather not eat raisins out of principle. This one was really gross, but it was so strange. I've never had yeah. anything like it in mm -hmm. my entire life. And this one was just bland. Yeah. And so this one was more disappointing to me because this one was at least like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Whereas this one was just like, oh, it's bread. And I was not interested in it at all. Yeah. So I didn't even want to finish it. This one tastes better than this one, mm -hmm. but that one I ate out of curiosity. This one, I have no reason to finish it. I think you're right. I, I threw that one out because I just thought it was disgusting. It was gross, yeah. Yeah, but I, I can see why you finished it, but I, I did like these. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm gonna buy any of these again, but I am excited to see what this company does going forward. No, I could see myself getting this one again. It's just not that great. I feel like I'd probably rather eat something else. Yeah. It is interesting, of the three flavors, which were the only ones there, the fact that they only got one that was even good, a little disappointed in them. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. be interested That's... to see what they do though, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. Hit us with the handle. At the Snag Rack YT. It's in the description. Should be somewhere right here. And here. But if you have any suggestions for what you want to see us try, you can comment below or tweet yeah. at us. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think of the videos. We hope you like this. Yeah. And we hope you have a good day. Yeah. Bye. Bye.